Hello, this is Benjamin with ARI, your website company. This will be defining your services page on the CMS editor for your responsive website. We'll hover over store and click on services. When the service manager page first appears, thing, the first thing you'll want to have checked is enable service manager. This is what allows the icons or pictures for these services to actually display on your services page. Icon theme. If you choose to use our stock images we have for our services, this will choose either light or dark. Completely your preference, I tell people to closely match their background color. Number of columns to display. This is the number of columns you would like these services pictures or icons to appear on the final website page. Add preloaded services. These are a list of services we've noticed that are popular for your industry in the past with some preloaded information. To add one or multiple of these is very easy. Select all the ones that you would like to add scroll down to the bottom of the pop-up and add selected. As you can see it adds them in. Now if some of those preloaded services won't work for you or if you'd like to define your own custom service the second option will be a better fit for you. Create new service. Yeah, the only required fields for this service to display on the site are the ones marked with an asterisk type in your services name, default price if you like, description, and if you do not like the stock icon you can click on edit icon to change it. There are quite a few stock icons we've configured for you or if you would like to use your own image click on upload to go retrieve that image. You would simply select your image and click open it'll go ahead and give you a preview of the image up here then as soon as you're done defining this you would hit save changes and it would take you back to your services page screen for any of the services that you've added to this list that you decide oops I didn't mean to add that and you'd like to delete it simply click on the X in the upper right hand corner and just like so it'll allow you to delete that service. If you would like to work with one of the predefined service, services that's already listed down here, click on the title of the service. This will open up the same form we were just looking at and you can go in and work with either the information here or that service icon. We'll close out of here. Last but not least, let's talk about the checkboxes underneath each service. Show and navigation is a legacy feature that no longer does anything, so I will not waste mine or your time defining it. Allow for web scheduling. If you want your customers to be able to schedule an appointment directly from the details of that service on your site, make sure the allow web scheduling is checked. Taxable. Have this checked if you decide to define a default price for the service. It will simply let your customers know that the service they see on the site may not be the final price that they pay in store and tax may apply. The last thing I'd like to go over is not so obvious. Defining the order of the services in which they display on your screen. The only way to do this currently is working with the title of the service. If you would like that service to be listed first, you can either add a 1 to the beginning of the title or an A beginning to that title. The order of the services first goes numerical, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then A, B, C, D. And you can work with the title to set your order of your services. This has been how to set up your services for your CMS editor for your responsive website. Thank you.